What's up everybody? This is Flash 001 USA. Today's Saturday. It's December 8th, the year 2018. It's right around 11.30 a.m. Alright, the reason I'm making this video is I wanted to let everybody know that finally I've got the PDF files put together on how to construct the automation for the gasifier and I did a print off of it and I want to cover a little bit of that just to kind of give you an idea of what to expect when you download the PDF file. And there will be a link below in the description. Just look for it and you'll be able to get it there. Alright, something that I wanted to share with everybody because I thought it may be interesting, especially for those of you that keep up with the channel. But if you remember, at the end of summer we got hit with that really bad storm out here and it took a bunch of trees down. Well, now that the leaves have fallen, you can really see the damage that happened out here. So, I'm going to go off on a slight tangent here and let everybody see this because it's a lot clearer now. It's like a big giant with a sandal on came stomping through the property and just smashed these things like toothpicks. I'm going to try to get a good viewing angle here. I don't know what I'm going to pick up on the camera, so bear with me here. Yeah, check that out. Look at that. Uh, just all over the place, man. Just, I mean, just slammed down to the ground. Back, back out here. Let's see if you can see that. Let's go take a look at this file and let you guys see what I've done. I set it up so that it can be printed off and stapled together like a manual this way. If somebody wants to make a paper copy of it, you can do that, you know, just for your own personal reference. Take a standby, let me go grab it. I think I'm going to bring it out here because the light will be a little bit better to look at it. And we'll just, you know, thumb through some pages on it and let you see what I did. And you'll understand when you see this why it's taken me all this time to put this thing together because I wanted to make sure that when somebody downloaded this you know it would make sense to them and they'd be able to go ahead and put this thing together even if they do some of their own twist to it and say hello to the cat I better be careful here because you know what happens when you put cats on a YouTube video you get millions of hits <laughs> Yeah, buddies. She likes her peoples. Don't you, sweetie? Hmm? <laughs> All right, this is one of the strays that decided to call us home. That'd be a good way of putting it. So I can get it in her face here. <laughs> I didn't have to. She's ready to crawl up here on me. Oh, yeah. That's the kitty cat look right there, huh? Speaking of, I'm going to go off on a tangent here because I think that some of you guys out there may find this of use, but um, I built an outside shelter out here, and I want to let you get a look at it here. And I found the information online, but basically, you can make a cat or a small animal a really warm home by taking a couple of plastic bins and the trick is, like, I think this one here is a three and a half foot bin, and that I've got a three foot bin inside of it. So you're making a thermos bottle. You take two bins, one that'll fit inside the other one, and on the bigger bin, you lay some insulation, whatever you're going to put in the bottom of it to, you know, help insulate it. You pack some insulation in it, then you put your other bin inside of it, and pack it all around the sides. And then you have two lids. You got the inner bin with this lid on it, and insulation's on top of the outside of that. That thing's encased, basically. And then you got your bigger bin. You put the lid on that, you seal it up. Then you cut a hole in the side of it. And so, what I did, I got a little bit more creative here. Now, I put a bucket on it. And the reason I did that, I want to see if I can zoom in here without her getting in the way. Notice there's holes drilled in it. That's so any rain or water that blows sideways, it'll drip out to the bottom. And 
<laughs> She's not gonna let me go through this thing. But what I did is I made an entrance on it. If I don't, if I can get down here without her knocking the camera. Oh yeah, she's wanting all the attention. Come here, baby. Come here. See. <laughs> okay, you see what I did right there. And so basically, I used a piece of the old PVC that I built my filters with, and I made her an entrance on this thing. So it goes through both pieces, goes through both bins there, and then it's sealed up. And of course, the bucket that's on here has a hole cut in it, and it's sealed, so no water can get in it. And I made her a roof on this thing. This way water wouldn't puddle up on top of the plastic bin and, you know, cause it to have a short life here. So I just got me a piece of wood, threw some shingle material on it, along with some bricks to keep it from blowing away. So haven't had any problems with it as far as the wind taking this thing and going anywhere. It's pretty secure, and she'll come out here like whenever it's raining. Um, she makes her way inside this thing, and it keeps her dry. So that's good for her. And... Like I said, it works really good. You can put your hand in there when she's inside of it. I don't care how cold it is out here. The body heat off of her will warm the thing up inside. So she's got her a place to go to. And I just figured I'd share this with everybody because it's really a good concept. And it works quite well, especially for a cat. All right, I went ahead and printed off a copy just for myself. Plus, I figured it would be a good way to introduce this, let everybody know what to expect when they download the file. And I did set it up in a way when I was doing this so that you could print it off and staple it together so it would be somewhat like a manual. But um, this is the cover page right here. And we'll flip through some pages here. I actually did a table of contents. You can see what we got here. List everything, what's happening, you know. So it's broken down this way. If you want to look at something in particular, you can just look here and go to that particular page. Um, first page is basically a... A brief overview and a theory of the operation and some definitions and then I start covering the main board immediately on it you know you can see you know we got a main board here and then I've got all the parts that go on it and I discuss you know basically what you need and this isn't it also in the back of the book there's actually more information on it but then we've got a top view of the x-ray of the board and some explanations you know about jumpers and where they got to go and then I'll show you the actual size of the board right here. It's one to one ratio and kind of give you some information about the material to use if you're going to do it. And I follow that up with the artwork. So I gave you a, basically a positive and a negative print. And for those of you out there that are like me that have electronics background, that um, know how to make circuit boards, that's the physical boards. You got everything in this file to do that with. And I cover you know basically the power options you know if you're going to power from AC if you're going to power from battery so I give you a, a detailed breakdown as far as you know how the wired up you know you can look at this and if you got any understanding even an automotive understanding of how wiring works you'll look at this and you go oh I know what he's doing there and then same thing it continues I cover the power supply the regulator board and you know powering is continued and then I have a a little bit more detail on the power supply board where jumpers go on it and then I follow that up same thing with the artwork the positive negative prints and then I've got what I call a detailed wiring diagram here now this you use to actually put the parts on the boards with you know for such as potentiometers hey where do the relays tie in you know the LEDs so you know where everything wires up at and of course you got a tiny illustration of the uh, the DC supply board here, the regulated and the unregulated leg in the ground. And, you know, so if you got a basic understanding of what a ground is, you know, and just, you know, DC in general, you're going to be fine with this. It's going to make sense to you. Then you get here, and I've got, you know, basically a parts designation for the controller. So if you're looking at the top of the box, you can go, okay, you know, your variable potentiometers, which one does what, where it goes, and an explanation of what the LEDs are, like standby, auto great lights and switches and all the neat things that make this thing work. And then I took a physical photo once I completed my build, and you can see what it looks like. So if you copy my build, you're going to be going, ah, oh, I see what he's doing here. And you can see the wiring involved in it. And I even get in detail with that too, so I don't leave anybody hanging on this. This is what took the time with it. So you've got basically an explanation of the wiring you know, even the screws are covered on here, okay? And then it moves on to the optical sensor. So you know, okay, well, this is the optics for the auto grate. 
and it gives you a basic ex explanation of how this thing goes together. You know, what your work should look like once it's put together, you know, including diagrams showing, you know, hey, this is how it's set up. And got a template here, you know, to cut out to be able to make the piece, to make this piece right here. And the hardest part of this, believe it or not, was doing the manometer um, as far as trying to explain this because I'm not a 3D artist. And so I had to, to do some work around. So I finally figured out some stuff there, but got that. As far as the manometer, I break down each piece that's got to be cut off, the lengths, everything to do whatever, including the PVC pipe reservoir and the fish aquarium tubing. And then this continues for a couple of pages. And then I'll show you what it's going to look like when it's completed. We got the back view here, and then we got the front view with the rulers on it, you know, for keeping up with the liquid. And then I've even got the ruler artwork on here, okay? So you can look at this and print those off to put on the actual piece when you build it. I'll tell you, it's so funny, man. I've got some 900-year-old paper that got mixed in with some new paper. I didn't see it when I was printing it last, and I was like, what the hell is this? So <laughs> you see, man, it's like yellow, white, yellow, white. Okay, so, and then I gave you the faceplate artwork, okay? That you print this off and... You know, I explained, you know, how to do this. You can buy an actual whole sheet, double-sided, you know, one side's for printing, the other side's is got the sticky on it. So, whole sheet printing labels. That's what I did with mine. That was the simplest way of doing it. And then I give you a drill map, okay? So, for those of you guys out there that do machine shop stuff, um, this a drill map is very basic, okay? So, it tells you all the, you know, the drill diameters, and then I've got the, the artwork for the drills so you can see, okay, this is where those drills land. And then I give you the timer settings. It's starting to rain out here, which I don't care about this, what I've got down here, if it gets wet or not. This is mainly just for you guys here. But the timer settings, so you can look at this and go, ah, oh, okay. You know, you, you know roughly where to set it up. And then I give you a hardware parts list right here and where to get the stuff. So you can go online and find it. And I mean everything, the box, everything. So there you go. I hope this helps out with anybody out there that's been asking about this. Now, originally I was taking people's names down and I said, hey, I'm going to email this to you. Well, um, I changed my computer out. When I did, I lost a lot of information. So I thought the best way to do this is probably just, you know, go ahead and make a video announcing that it's released because I know, you know, people will find this eventually. So there you go. On that note, um, I'm going to go back in here because it's starting to drizzle a little bit. But this may not be my only video today because if it starts snowing or something, I'll get out here and make a snow video. So on that note, um, we'll go ahead and sign off 10-4 over now, flash 001 USA. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas when he gets here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk at you later.